Alright, so a few months back I made a video using every melee list from worst to best on PvP, and today I max super awaken all of them. All of them, including SSR melee and Halloween melee, the two worst ones. Um, it was resources I will never get back, but here I am. So I'll play one match with each, and I'm actually starting with SSR melee. That might surprise you. You might think I'll start with Halloween melee, but honestly, with Hendrickson giving him 50% more damage for his card, I think he might just be better than SR Melly. Um, I don't know, I, I think he might be. Uh, I'm not giving the order that much, like one like one for each, right? I think uh, it depends on the scenario, right? So I'll play one match for each. What happens, happens. If I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. And... Um, I will be changing the teams according to what would be best for them. I think this team would be amazing for SR Melee because I can proc debuffs on enemies so easily. And, ooh, unlucky matchup. Oh, it's a bot. Oh, lucky for him, I guess. I can proc debuffs so easily on, on enemies, right? So, I can do this, right? I can do this. And Melee will do the triple damage with Pierce right here. Well, lucky matchup for SR Melee. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, does a triple damage, which is pretty nice. Um, if it gets the crits on, which is when he procs his passive, that's like when he really can get, you know, good if the hits. But, um, I mean, it's okay. Like, the one thing about SR Melee is his counters. His counters would be so much more impressive if he had the uh, taunt. If he had taunt, his counters would be insane, because he can't take damage when he does level 3, right? And, and when he does level 2, he just takes less damage, like, anyways, right? So he would be so insane if his counters had taunt like Estorosa. So insane. But unfortunately, it's not the case. The enemy can just choose not to. Or, you know, if you, pu you, sh if you push for your ultimate with SR Melee, like, let's say you get an extra SR Melee card, right? As your starting card. If you combine cards and use it and push for your ultimate, uh, if they have Elizabeth, this happened to me when I was trying to showcase him uh, the other day. If they have Elizabeth, they can just stun you. Even if you have dodge, uh, Elizabeth removes stances with her with her stun for no reason. <laughs> so could happen right now. Let's see. Oh, but he has draw, so my my ult was uh, sealed anyways. Regardless, it, it could still happen right now. Like, it, it's kind of stupid that she removes stances, to be honest. Like, she's already doing stun, why does she also have to remove stances? Hi, <sighs> Elizabeth, Elizabeth. My most hated unit by absolute far. My absolute most hated unit in the game. And I, <laughs> how not to hate her? That's the real question, how not to hate her? But yeah, um... I guess lucky matchup for SRM. Like I said, I'm gonna play one match. What happens, happens. If I face someone and I lose with the best, which is of course Lost Vein, do I have to say who it is? If I lose with Lost Vein, I lose with Lost Vein. What can I do? <laughs> um, okay, let me just ult with SR Melee and end this. And then we'll move on to Halloween Melee and progress through it. Um, I mean, is Halloween Melee better than maybe Counter Melee? I, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. So let's, let's move on. Let's move on. Alright, alright. Ooh. Might be a rough match for Halloween Melee, but we'll see. Again, this team is probably the best for him. Because uh, Handy is boosting his uh, his poison card. So let's start with the basic, right? Triple debuff. This guy has the new Melee costume also. Ooh. That's not good. He crit Melee. And th this will always crit Melee as well, pretty much. Yeah. Because he does multiple hits. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate that Melee got double level 3 cards right there for free. <sighs> Very unfortunate. Alright, if he does a single target, Handy is... Uh, oh, Handy is uh, in bad bad shape right now. Mm -hmm, Handy is in terrible shape. And so is Melee, holy... Melee took like more damage than Handy! Uh, what's your resistance, my guy? 23%, yeah, base melee stats is garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Can I can I target? Can I target? Can I target? Can I target? I couldn't target! I wanted to attack him I wanted to attack Elizabeth. 
that sucks. Why couldn't I target? I was literally clicking on her. This game sucks, man. <laughs> I'm not just trying. This game sucks. Ah, uh, that that really sucks. It's okay. Like, it's not even because I couldn't target her, it's because I couldn't even think on my play because I was trying so hard to target her and I just couldn't. So I'll melt my gauge. Right, I took off the revive, which means that I can do this. Alright. I can hopefully kill both. I'm more scared of Milio, so I'll attack him twice, just to be sure. The revive is gone, so I can uh, try to go for this. Yeah, good thing I attacked him twice. If I had killed Zaldrus, uh, Meli would have got his cards. So he would have got Lost Vein's ultimate. Why did that happen? Why couldn't I target her? Ah, that's so stupid. It's actually so stupid. So dumb. Ah, I couldn't really think of my play. I just clicked the whatever was fastest. Yeah, you're, you're dead. And Melee's gonna... not Melee, uh, Zaldrus is gonna fully heal. Yep, 96k heal. And Stomach King. Oh boy, this is fun. Um, ooh, nice shock. Alright, Melee. It's your time to shine. Let's see that damage, boy. Let's see that damage. You know what? We're considering... Maybe SR Melee was just better. <laughs> you know what? Maybe he just was better. Hmm. Ah, I'm lucky. He attacked him twice. No, 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 no. Man, your resistance sucks. Base Melee just isn't good. It's not even like Halloween Melee's fault for being a base Melee. Base Melee stats just suck. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You actually have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. I actually lost. Yep. I actually lost them, ironically. <sighs> this is upsetting. Uh, could she not kill? Maybe. 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 If she's HP and defense, she might not kill. It's torturing me. It's actually torturing me. It's gonna torture me. It's gonna make this man. Oh, I'm fortune. Alright. Well, I'm lucky. Alright, I'm. <laughs> Uh, a freaking Fraudron. Hmm. Well, Counter Melee will definitely have issues dealing with that. Because if he decides to attack Counter Melee with Fraudron, then yeah. He'll die. Lots and lots and lots of people using Fraudron. Like, a lot of people have been using Fraudron. Hmm. I guess I have to try to kill Lost Vein with my own hands. Alright, rank up Easton. Attack, attack. Um, I was gonna say, oh yeah, next one, I think I'll go for a Red DML. I think Green DML should be still better. Oh, you're dead. Should be still better than. Um, than the red one, so I'll keep the green for uh, next time. Ooh! Ooh! Fun fact! If I kill Fraudion right now, he doesn't die. Because of the uh, Elizabeth. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let's do this. This. 
in this. Now hear me out. I'll do this and this. So it will remove the ultimate gauge as soon as uh, he dies. I'm using HP food, by the way. So actually, I, I have been seeing so many people with Fraudulent. Oh, taunt. Not attacking. Alright. Boop. Boop. And... Oh, actually... Alright. I'll kill him. He won't die. He'll get revived. He'll die now. And then... Um, death. Right. He died. Uh, he didn't die. Now he'll die. So give them all full ultimate gauge. And then go for take away the ultimate gauge. Huge brain. 500 IQ. Well, I'm lucky. Kamen barely couldn't, do it. couldn't get a Kamen off. He's like, oh, my stun. I mean, if he attacks... Nah, you're attacking. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna just let you not attack me. Come on. Come on. Attack me. Attack me, come on. Do it. I, you have to be kidding me. You're gonna attack me. You are going to attack me. Actually, I'll rank up Easton. So he can't get ultimate beast next time. That will do damage to my melee. And that will make him counter harder. You won't kill him. Alright. Now, you have to attack me. Now you have to attack me. Just, just do it. Just do it. I wish I could see both cards. <sighs> You're really gonna... You're really just gonna keep doing this. You're actually gonna keep doing this. Ixa! Thank you! I'm actually keeping this thing for the end of the list. Uh, I think it could be good for him. Because I'll be boosting crit damage and crit chance. Ooh, nice. All right, let's lower that attack stat. Nice suit, and I actually put Death Priest in the back as well. So their crit, crit resistance and crit defense is lowered as well. So he will have a good time. That handy is gonna get pl plummeted. Mm. I should be creating all the hits, to be honest. Because he'll be having his uh, crit chance very increased by Easton. Was it 40%? Shield, that's not good. That's not good. Mm, okay. Let's go with this, right? This definitely should break the shield. I want to use this attack afterwards, because I, I want to... I wanna, Apply the uh, ignite and hopefully get a crit of it. Oh wow! Of course, the last hit was the one that she got the revive with. That was <laughs> that was quite good. That was quite good. I don't know how it would be for the the blue units, but that was quite good. Oh, there's a lot of blue units, huh? Green D and Melee might have a good time. Alright, you're dead. Let's start working on you. Got a nice crit, Melee? Oh. Okay. Just like that, huh? I mean, he is being heavily boosted by Easton, but still. I mean, oh, actually, Red the Amelie got a very nice buff uh, with his Super Awakening. He really did. Because, right. of course, some units just got worse buffs than others. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, some, some specific units got, like, stats that are completely useless, to be honest. Mm. Alright, let's, uh... Let's kill you. You know what? I absolutely despise you. Let's kill you. Absolutely despise you. 
crit. Yeah, without Easton here and all that, huh? <laughs> without Easton's uh, crit damage buff, he hit much lower. Even though King is a much better tank than Liz, he has like much more resistance. I wouldn't say much more, he has more definitely. Let me let me take a quick look. I'm pretty sure he has more resistance. King. And Elizabeth. I actually should check Super Awakened stats, bro. Uh, yeah, Liz has 68% resistance. Oh, Greyhound's bad base doesn't have King's 6 star. Mmm, unlucky. Uh, let's do this. this. Uh, Greyhound's bad base doesn't have their uh, King's like, 6 star thing. But I'm pretty sure he has so much resistance. He's such a good tank. Hmm. Are almost done and then we'll move on to green the melee. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll go back to the king team. I think um, I, I, I saw some people telling me that he's actually good at the king team, so I should try that. I guess to the ultimate. Debuff first, of course. Cool. 700k down. Alright, back with the king team, and I actually kept Death Pierce in the back. Ooh, let's go first. Unlucky for my Grindy and Melly. Not getting an easy match. Hmm. And all my characters have the Defense Lord. Damn. Yeah, not good for my boy DML at all. So, what to do first? Ooh, that hurts! Oh, that really hurts. Ah, I still was gonna do one match, but I got. Oh, that's a really unlucky matchup. Uh, yeah, let me do this. That's a really unlucky matchup. Fire Ludos, yeah. I mean, this team in general. The, the draw team is really powerful, really, really powerful right now. Because uh, the best team to fight the draw team is Lost Vein, King, King, um, Elizabeth, and my team obliterates that team. So it's really like play, playing rock paper, rock, rock paper scissors. I'll give Mel another chance because this was a really unlucky matchup for him. Alright, it's a handy team, not so bad. Much better than last time. Okay, okay, okay. Let's start off with the handy attacks and I'll attack King. Nice, nice. I don't get the Merlin in the front, but 83k is really good. I don't get the Merlin in the front. Why is he using her? Why is he using Merlin in the front? I guess shield? Uh, let's use his AoE card to break the shield. Uh, actually, the shield should break with the uh, the debuffs. Let's use his AoE card. Mm -hmm. let's, um, let's start off with the uh, king and then the two AoEs from Eliotis. It looks so nice. A little laggy because it's like it's so much uh, animation. My PC just almost dies running it, right? But it looks really nice. Like this melee is has like such cool uh, animations, and his passive is like probably like my favorite passive in the game. Like it just if he kills someone, he gets their ultimate gauge. That's so cool. Really uh, unfortunate that he just isn't all that good. Like, he doesn't have much use. There's not really like a single place where I'll say, Oh, I should take Green the Amelie here. You know? Not really a single place where I think that. Uh, but okay. Let's, um... Let's already move on. This match is completely done. No, actually. So this should do that. Let me actually see, um... How much this hit from King will do. With no uh, debuffs, just raw damage. 
Let's 76k. Just raw damage. 134k, just raw damage. Not even uh, being buffed up or anything by the um, damage per second attacks. Where's his ultimate? Since we're here. It would get her ultimate <laughs> for him, you know? If it, there were more enemies, but unfortunately there aren't. Debuff first, triple damage. And nice. Yeah, he got the ultimate at the end of there. Alright, I'm bringing in the back here. Uh, no way. I haven't used Demon Mally in so long. I swear to god if he's using Red Demon... Okay, he's not... He's not using Red King in the back, right? I don't think so. Okay. I haven't used Melly in, in so long. And the first time I like or, or seeing Melly in so long. And the first time I use him, I see one. Alright. Uh I bring Ludusia because I want to reduce their defense rate of stats by 40%. And that's exactly what I did. Yeah, he's Melly's actually already dead. <laughs> yeah, this combo is insane. Because if you lowered their um their resistance and their, uh, you know, crit resistance uh, by 40%. Melly just does so much damage. It's just so much damage. Like, e even if I faced Valenti, she would have lost 40% of her resistance. Yeah, this uh, this this team comp is insane. You need to use CC field, of course. And you need to be a whale, because <laughs> you need Ludociao. And Ludociao requires whaling. Um, but I quite like this, because my melee goes bare. Okay. This is it, I think. Yeah, and then I kill both Lily and Gopher. Gopher got revived. Or, actually, Gopher didn't die. Lily did. But Gopher didn't, okay. Okay, no melee cards. I, guess. I mean, I do have three melee cards here, the Corrosion cards. Don't want to use those, though. No, you can't do that. <laughs> like you actually can't. This, this, and this. Oh, double damage. Oh, I actually wanted that to go for Lily. I should have. I should have actually. I should have been specific. I should have been specific. That's my fault. That is in fact my fault. Can I get a melee card, an attack card for him, please? Just one. It would be nice. Like, actually, like, he does the most damage on my team. Please. Alright, let's uh, do this and this. I have level 2. I've been recording for over 12 hours, okay? I... <laughs> I've been recording for over 12 hours, okay? I, uh... I'm not thinking straight. I should've, uh... Level 2 healed. And... Use my ultimate. I've been recording for a while, okay? I, uh, I'm not thinking. Men's can't think. Although I did want to use Melly more, so it's not bad. Their defense rate stats is not lowered by 40% anymore, because um, the passive is gone, but still. Yeah, he still does way too much damage. And now for the last one. Lost Vein! Yay! And now it should finally be done. Lost Vein. And Lost Vein fits on so many teams. I didn't know exactly which one I, I wanted to go with, so I just went with the King team, and I kept Death Priest in the back. <laughs> He's just there. He's just there. Which could be unfortunate if I crit Melly too much right here. Oh, but he shielded up. Mm. Okay. Oh, I think my Lost Vein should be able to break the shield. And then Handy can debuff them twice. Okay, you can No way his last fan is four cards. Four. Yeah, Handy, you're dead. I don't know how else to tell you that. You're dead. Hmm. That's not good. Ah, uh, is he? Is he? Not really, okay. Chill damn break for Lost Vein, it's fine. Do this. This.
and this. This should kill Elizabeth. And you know, that'll proc the revive. Oh, are you kidding me? Eh, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Got my ult. Unless he takes it takes it off with uh Lilia. Which if he does it's fine. He couldn't, okay. Okay, I won. Unless it's level 3 and he does it on my Meliodas. Which I don't think it is. Yeah. Already proc to revive. Which means... Can I get one more melee card for the actual damage? One more? One more? One more? One more? Yes. That's what I wanted. Right. <laughs> for the... 1.4 million. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just a casual 1.4 million. Because you know, enemies in this game have that much HP, right? It's totally necessary to hit for that hard. So, let's go for another one then. Alright, Death Pierce, you, you're actually working. If he petrifies me again, I can actually... No. Couldn't petrify. Fuda? Nice. Thank you guys for watching. This is a... Uh... I'm gonna go take a nap. Yay.